Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. We remember his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens and your faithfulness never ceases. Illuminate our hearts with your wisdom and strengthen our lives with your word, for you are the fountain of life. In the light we see true light. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Exult and sing a shining angel chorus. Exult and dance, bright stars and blazing suns. The firstborn of creation, Jesus Christ, is risen in radiant splendor from the dead. Awaken earth, awaken and fire. O children born of clay and water, come. The one who made you rise is like the sun to scatter night and wipe your tears away. Arise then, sleepers, Christ enlightens you. Arise from doubt and sadness, sin and death. With joyful hearts and spirits set afar, draw near to sing this Easter candle's praise. We praise you, God, for your works of light. We bless you for that burst of fire and flame through which you first created all that is a living universe of soaring stars of space and spinning planets surging seas that cradle earth and rock against her breast we praise you, God of everlasting light. We praise you, God of everlasting light. We bless you for the light invisible, the fire of the faith, the Spirit's grace and truth. The light that bonds the atoms stirs the heart and shines forever on the face of Christ. We praise you, God of everlasting light. Creator, in the joy of Easter Eve, 
accept offering of this candle's light. May all who see its glow and feel its warmth be led to know your nature and your name. We praise you, God of everlasting light. O night, more holy than all other nights, your watchful eyes beheld in wondrous awe the triumph of our Saviour over sin, the rising of the deathless one from death. Now is Christ risen, Christ is risen, we are raised with him. Now is Christ risen, Christ is risen, we are raised with him. O night that gave us back what we had lost, O night that made our sin a happy fault, beyond our deepest dreams this night, O God, your hand reached out to raise us up in Christ. Now is Christ risen, Christ is risen, we are raised with him. And so our God, creator of all life, with open hearts and hands we come to you, Anointed with the Spirit's power, we bear these precious glowing gifts of fire and flame. We pray that when our night of watching ends, the morning star who dawns and never sets, our Saviour Jesus Christ may find us all united in one faith, one hope, one Lord. For you alone are God, living and true. O glory, praise and power belong to you. With Jesus Christ, the one who conquered death, and with the Spirit blessed for evermore. Amen. 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 A reading from Genesis, chapter 1 through to chapter 2, verse 4. Six days of creation and the Sabbath. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void, and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome, and separated the waters that were under the dome, from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. 
God called the dome sky. And there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the domes of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind with which the waters swarm and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image, in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day God finished the work he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. These are the generations of the heaven and the earth when they were created.
A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 14. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone, and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians who you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to keep still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. But you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. The Israelites may go out into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go into the sea after them. And so I will gain glory for myself over Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his chariot drivers. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gained glory for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The angel of God, who was going before the Israelite army, moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel. And so the cloud was there in the darkness and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the waters may come back upon the Egyptians, their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers, the entire army of Pharaoh that followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians, and so the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 starting at verse 14. People of Zion, sing! 
Israel, shout loudly. People of Jerusalem, be glad. Let your hearts be full of joy. The Lord has stopped punishing you. He has made your enemies turn away from you. The Lord is the King of Israel. He is with you. You will never again be afraid that others will harm you. The time is coming when people will say to Jerusalem, Zion, don't be afraid. Don't give up. The Lord your God is with you. He is the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer punish you. Instead, he will sing for joy because of you. The Lord says to his people, You used to celebrate my appointed feasts in Jerusalem. You are sad because you can't do that anymore. Other people make fun of you because of that. That sadness was a heavy load for you to carry. But I will remove that load from you. At that time I will punish all those who crushed you. I will save those among you who are disabled. I will gather those who have been taken away. I will give them praise and honour in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time I will gather you together and I will bring you home. I will give you honour and praise among all the nations of the earth. I will bless you with great success again, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now come to the part of service for the renewal of baptism vows. For this, you will need a small dish of water, a candle and something to light it with. The words of the liturgy have been sent to you in the email. Join in with the responses. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we remember that through the Paschal mystery, we have died and been buried with him in his baptism so that we may rise to new life within the family of the church. Now that we have completed our observance of Lent, we renew the promises made at our baptism, affirming our allegiance to Christ and our rejection of all that is evil. Therefore, I ask, do you turn to Christ? I turn to Christ. Do you repent of your sins? I repent of my sins. Do you renounce evil? I renounce evil. Please take your dish of water for the next part of the service. Praise God who made heaven and earth, who keeps his promise forever. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give him thanks and praise. Almighty God, whose son Jesus Christ was baptised in the River Jordan, we thank you for the gift of water to cleanse and revive us. Saving God, give us life. We thank you that through the waters of the Red Sea you led your people out of the land of slavery into the freedom of the promised land. Saving God, Give us life. We thank you that through the deep waters of death, you brought your son and raised him to life in triumph. Saving God, give us life. May this water be to us a sign and a symbol of our life in Christ. May be, we be as one body, brothers and sisters of the faith, the family of St. Margaret of Antioch, near and far, dispersed, and yet together. Saving God, give us life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them. Bring them to new birth in the household of faith and raise them with Christ to full and eternal life. For all might, majesty, authority and power are yours now and forever. Saving God, give us life. Amen. 
I ask you now to make the profession of faith into which you were baptised and in which you live and grow. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? I believe and trust in him. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Take in your water, make the sign of the cross on your forehead. Remember your baptism into Christ Jesus. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith. With all who have been baptised in your name, keep us faithful to our baptism and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect. In your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And lighting your Easter candle. Hold it high. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. With the risen life of Christ within you, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.